I remember I wanted to become more productive so that I could actually get better grades for university, right? So I'd go on YouTube looking up how to be more productive and I'd see all these videos from people telling you how to create a morning routine, what you need to do to be more productive. So I started following this advice, right? So I'd wake up at 5 a.m. like everybody told me to. I'd read for like an hour, I'd like get some coffee, then like meditate for like half an hour, journal for half an hour. Then I'd go to the gym for two hours, come back, take a shower and eat. And it would be like, by this time, it would be like 12, one o'clock. And then I'll try getting some work done and my brain is fried. Like I can't even sit down and do any work. And I'm like, why is this working, bro? I'm following this morning routine that people told me to do. Problem is that your if your morning routine looks like that, where it's like you need to do all these things before you get work done, your morning routine is too long, bro. You don't need a morning routine that's five hours long. Your morning routine should only take you like an hour max. Then there's also some people will say that morning routines don't matter. I will honestly argue against that because years are made in months months are made in weeks weeks are made in days and days are made in mornings because you know when you've had like a productive morning when you actually get so much work done just like naturally during the day you feel good during the rest of the day the rest of the day just goes smoothly because you're like i just got so much work done bro i could literally just sit on my couch and do nothing the rest of the day it wouldn't matter because i just got done with all my work that i needed to get done if you have like a strict morning routine where you follow every day it sets you up to be more productive later on during the day how is that not a win how are you not benefiting from not having a morning routine a lot of people think that your morning routine starts in the morning it doesn't start in the morning your morning routine starts the night before before you go to bed this is the most important part of your morning routine that gets so neglected that you don't see anybody talking about because if your sleep is terrible if you the night before is terrible and like you wake up feeling all groggy and unmotivated because you had like four hours of sleep you're not gonna want to get any work done how can you be productive if your sleep was terrible you're in an uphill battle at this point like trying to fight against your own mind wanting to sleep wanting to take a day off so i can make a whole video dedicated just to your night routine but what you want to focus on is not eating or drinking anything right before you go to sleep body takes time to digest right it takes time to digest food it takes time to like digest water so if you're drinking and eating right before you go to sleep the time you spend sleeping is spent digesting food so your body's not actually properly resting and so if you actually give your body some time to actually digest the food and actually digest the water or whatever you can actually go to sleep and your body can prioritize sleep and recovery it doesn't have to worry about digesting any food so if you're going to sleep at 10 stop eating by 7 if you go to sleep at 12 stop eating by 9 it's really that simple and also what before you go to sleep you want to actually list out what you want to get done for the next day so that you don't have to spend time thinking oh what am i supposed to do today what is like today's objective you know so do it the night before so like you can actually process what you did during that day and you can actually tell yourself okay i messed up here I actually didn't actually study as long as I wanted to. Let me spend like an extra five minutes tomorrow studying. You know, so plan out your day the next day, the night before. Then you go to sleep. The time I wake up changes depending on what time the sun rises. Because before, when the sunrise was at 8 p.m., 8 a.m., I was waking up at six. But now that like the sun rising at seven, my bed I'm waking up at five now because I like waking up according to the sun because whatever whatever the sun. Whatever time the sun is up, that's when I'm waking up. And whatever time the sun goes down, that's when I'm getting ready to sleep. Because it's just, I've always, it's so, I've always worked like that. It just works for me best. And so currently I'm waking up at 5 a.m. Wake up at whatever time works for you. You don't need to be waking up at 5 a.m. like everybody's telling you to wake up. You just need to find time to actually get work done where you won't be distracted by anybody. That's why like f the 5 a.m. works because nobody's awake at 5 a.m. But if 6 a.m. works for you or 7 a.m. works for you, then that's fine, just do that as well. Like you don't need to force yourself to wake up at a single time because you can always experiment like later on. Like maybe I should try waking up at five, maybe I'll wake up at 4.30. Just stick to a time to wake up now and then you can always change it. So now that you got your eight hours of sleep and you've actually woken up in the morning, now it's time for you to get out of bed, make your bed, and do not touch your phone. If you want to know the fastest way for you to lose focus and lose all productivity for a day is to touch your phone as soon as the alarm goes off and start scrolling on it. Start looking at all the messages you got over the night. Start looking at all the like Instagram DMs you got last night. Start looking at all the emails you have. If you do that, you're going to absolutely lose 
your focus absolutely lose your ability to be productive that day because your brain's gonna get distracted by like all these messages all these like distractions on your phone just by scrolling on it because if you might go on instagram you might tell yourself oh i'm just gonna look see if i got any dms but next thing you know you go on instagram to see if you got any dms but now you're scrolling on everybody's like stories and stuff and it's so easy because you know we all of us we have like our alarm set on our phones and it's like as soon as our alarms go off we have our phones in our hands so naturally we just want to like use our phones your messages can wait your emails can wait they've waited this long when you've been asleep they can wait another like two three hours like relax like you don't need to be on your phone as soon as you wake up so what helps is don't sleep with your phone put it somewhere where you need to walk and turn your alarm off so that if you actually go up stand up go to your phone and turn the alarm off you can actually leave it there and then actually just since you're up already go make your bed and actually go on to the next part of the morning routine which is to take a cold shower the reason for this cold shower isn't like it wakes you up of course but the reason why it wakes you up is because it is raising your internal body temperature and when that happens your body is getting ready for fight or flight it raises like the cortisol levels in your body and like your brain is like fully awake at that time that point you could also like do a quick workout like a minute like one or two minute of like really high intense workouts i've i've messed around with it. i personally don't like working out in the morning just because i find that when i work out in the morning it like kind of mentally drains me so it's like i would much rather just use that later on during the day when i've had like my most important work done so you hop in that cold shower it's gonna be cold i know that's why it's called cold shower it, it sounds so dumb but i would like force myself like to go right i'll be like all right i'm gonna manually walk to the bathroom go take a shower and come out like you literally have to force yourself like a robot because like your brain's not gonna want to go in the shower especially now that it's winter time and like the weather's getting colder and it's a lot more cozier to stay in your bed where it's warm instead of where it's like 50 degrees outside so you're naturally not gonna want to even go take a shower which is why you need to do it go take that cold shower and you'll come out feeling like 10 times more awake and alert so once you've taken your shower go drink a glass of water put some salt in it and drink it because you've been dehydrated for like 12 hours if you haven't been sleeping if you actually stopped drinking water three hours before bed and actually slept your eight hours you've been you haven't drank any water for almost 12 hours so go drink that water and what i do next is to pray well, i find that once i've prayed in the morning i'm ready to get work done and if you don't pray if you're not muslim and you're just watching this because you want to know what a morning routine you should follow spend this time meditating meditate for like 15 minutes because it really does set you up for the rest of the day you clear your thoughts you have no thoughts in your head when you're meditating because you're focused on trying to have a clear mind trying to be present right and so it's easier for you to be more productive when you have zero thoughts in your head compared to like thinking about 20 different things thinking about what am i going to do today thinking about how's like how am i going to make today better than yesterday you wouldn't have these thoughts because one you're meditating and two if you're following this morning routine you've already thought of what you're going to do today the night before right you see this is why like the night routine is also important so your mind is going to be clear at this point you don't need to worry about what you're going to do because you've already written it down you don't need to worry about what you can do better today because you've already thought about it so you just meditate and just be in peace with like the silence that's around you because nobody's awake the whole world is asleep but you and you're about to get some work done so right after you're done meditating or right after you're done praying that's when you start your work your deep work you do the hardest work possible the most important work you have to do it's, and it's like a term called eat the frog i was already unintentionally doing it without realizing it's like that there's a term for it and what eat the frog is is basically imagine you have this whole buffet right you have like your appetizers you have like dessert you have like this three course meal it all looks tasty but you also have this frog that you gotta eat you could choose to eat it right now before you eat anything else you get it out the way or you can have all this like food that's in front of you all the desserts and cakes eat that first and then deal with it with the frog right at the end and the thing is no matter which choice you choose if you choose to eat it first or you choose to eat it last it's going to be disgusting either way but the reason why it's better to eat it first is because one you're already getting this out the way once you eat it it's disgusting but you can move on and eat something else right you can move on and eat do other stuff in your life or you can be 
enjoying your meals, enjoying your desserts, but you have that thought in the back of your head, knowing that, man, once this is done, I'm gonna have to eat that frog. And so like, you can't even enjoy your meals properly because you're already thinking about the stuff that you don't want to do. And so this is why you want to do what is the most important task to you. You want to do that first thing in the morning, right after you're done meditating, right after you're done praying. I remember my main priority at one point was reading, reading a book a week. So I would, as soon as I woke up, as soon as I got my like routine done, I would read an hour straight. And when I would do that, it would be so easy for me to read a book a week. I might even read two books a week sometimes because I'm reading and I'm reading for an hour straight with no distractions and it's so easy for me. And you know, I've stopped that, right? I've stopped reading an hour a day as soon as I woke up. I would like push it off like until like later in the day and I would find that it's a lot harder for me to stay focused on reading when I'm not doing it first thing in the morning. Which is why your frog is going to be the most important, the most difficult task you need to get done for the day. So if right now your most important goal is to build a better body, to go to the gym and work out, then during this time right after you've meditated go to the gym if your important if your priority right now is to do well in school because you know you procrastinate most of the time so you're probably going to have some homework that you haven't done spend this time to do your homework spend this time to go study if you're like a youtuber or whatever spend this time to like actually creating videos scripting videos for filming videos whatever do your most important task during this time because this is when you have the most productivity. This is when you have the most focus and the most discipline to get your work done. And you should be locked in with no distractions, no phones, no TV, no anything that can take away your, from your focus should not exist. Because as soon as your focus breaks, it's going to take a lot of time for you to get your focus back. You want to limit as many distractions as possible. Most people can only go like one to two hours max at a time actually focusing with zero distractions and that's what you want to aim for aim for like one to two hours if you can do more do more but you don't need to force yourself to do more because naturally what you'll find is the more you continue to do this the more you work without distractions you naturally start working longer with no distractions because you've actually built up the skill to work like distraction free and so like one to two hours after you've actually done your work go for a walk outside because you deserve it you deserve to go treat yourself after all that hard work after actually getting the morning routine done go outside for a walk go get the sunlight on your face go get sunlight in your eyes it's going to make you feel better and it's going to give you like more energy to actually get the rest of the day done so that's my morning routine for maximum productivity